Hey guys, and welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday, and it means we're using Plague Glacier Bell. So, Plague Glacier Bell has now been updated by the Bandalist. So, we are running the Soul Charge. Of course, we're running the Triple Row. Hello, this deck has more warriors than any other deck in Vitamin Y. So, definitely the Triple Row. Uh, so, hopefully, that plays will be good. And, uh, you know, this deck has been one of the stronger decks on Vitamin Y lately. So, hopefully, we continue to do well with it, get decent hands. And uh, etc. etc. Decided to go ahead and splash Regeki in there as well. I, I couldn't get the dark hole in there, so not not comfortably anyway. Uh, I, and I was thinking about doing some movements to try to squeeze dark hole in there, but then I decided against it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get it started. And if I really feel like I, dark hole is 100% super necessary, we can always just put it back. Five. Okay. Well, there's Regeki. Well, I'm definitely going to de Destiny draw this Malicious. That's, that's a game. Kind of hope you're not using anything sacky, especially with no extra deck. Alright. Let's go ahead and draw it up. Oh, oh wow. Perfect. Perfect. Only way this could be even perfect because I had a way to get rid of his back row, but perfect. Drew right into the card that I wanted. Right into the card that I wanted. Like, hello? Just, damn. Yeah, you're using something sacky, but it's okay. Sure. that That's more reassuring for me. That means that you have no back row. Alright. I'm going to deplete the shit out of your resources. That's fine. Alright, some play. Sink 8. Alright. Oh, what the fuck? Why am I sick of looking at my deck? Oh, but the other Nope. Uh, let's go ahead and go for... Uh, probably. I'm thinking about going for Beals and Void Ogre, because I can put the Shadow Mist on top of the deck and shuffle in, set the runners and calls and shit. So yeah, I'll go for that. So I'll go Plague Effect. Plague effect. Put you on top. You. Then go Mally effect. Not since I got my Mally start. Pretty much the Shadow Miss is only in here to pretty much be able to go. Alright. Oh, I got Destiny. Alright. Go Armageddon Knight. Send Shadow Miss. Shadow Miss. Go ahead and get me the the uh, the malicious and then draw it away. So, yeah. That's really, like, literally, like, one of the only things that this that, that shit does. So, go ahead and sink it again. I really have a feeling that that face downs like a marshmallow or something. <sighs> Should I go for? I'll go for scrap. I'll go for scrap. I can take it slow. Scrap effect. Target. Bills and your monster. Of course you're gonna quit. It's cool. He's like, oh no, he can get over my marshmallow lawn. Oh no, my Exodia deck. My Exodia deck is gonna fall apart. Trishola. You too. <sighs> Alright, I'll go first. Setup is important. Nope, there's Soul Charge. Yep, just like this. This is, this is going to be a perfect example of why Shadow is in here. So I'm going to go Rota, search on the Getty Knight. Getting that effect. That's a lot of spells to open up with. A lot, lot, lot of spells. Go ahead and send Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist will get its effect. And I will add Mali to the hand. And then I might Destiny Dry right into the Plague Spreader. So that's the gist of it. That's the reason why it's in here. I only run one though. Eh, close enough. Oh, wait, I can just Destiny Draw the Defender. Who I also run at one now. We used to be two, but I cut him down. Alright. And uh, now I drew Debris, who can actually summon Defender and go into an XC play. So, not bad. Not too terrible. Not too terrible. Eh, I don't really feel like overextending, overextending. Nah, I'll take it slow. I'm fine right now.
back row, back row, back row, back row, back row. That's all Yu-Gi-Oh is. You know what I'm Think how different Yu-Gi-Oh would be if there was no trap cards. Like, all the current games. But there is, and it sucks, so. Suck a dick. I guess. That's pretty much, it's pretty much the gist of this whole moral story, huh? Ah. Uh, I'm a foolishy bell. No, send you bell. So I got Foolish, Regeki, and Soul Charge. Because number generators are the shit. <laughs> oh, and Debris. In fact, you got fucking four back row. You got something for this. Randy jumped in us. Uh, is it worth it? That's fine. It's not even worth the, sh the stopping. I'll stop it when I'm good and ready to stop it. That's that's cool. I don't even care. More back row? Sure. That's another one back row. Another MST. Sure. Like I said, you're going to have to get rid of the bandies eventually, so. That's, that's what's wrong with vanities. Like, when you're up and you're all high and mighty, the vanities is fucking awesome, but when you're down, it hurts. This is a pretty clear example of why vanities is hurts. Oh, of course it's Shadals. Good luck, have fun. I'm using Shadals. Yeah, that's fun. I like it. I love it. I love it. Good luck, have fun. I'm using Shadals. Cool start, bro. 200. Okay. Okay. Well, that's in a, that's in a different chain, but yeah. Draw. Oh, another. Back. Then he's up to this one. Alright. Richter skill. Okay. That's fine. Uh. Castel. I said, that's all Yu Gi Oh! is. It's back row, back row, back row, back row, back row, back row, back row. So. You got another Richter skill? When it comes to competitive play, of course. Game. Mm -mm. Game. Yep. GG. I beat your back row dot deck. I beat your back row dot deck. That's literally what all you did. I didn't even know you were playing Shadows. Uh, all I saw was back row, 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 back row. So there we go. Back row and Shadows. That's literally all I've been seeing a lot lately. That's a new thing, facing Shadal. I think I face Shadals like every single day for the last couple of days now. Like someone's been using Shadals. Okay. Like shit. Fine. I don't care who goes first. I don't care who goes second. Just please stop with the fucking paper rock scissors over and over again. Hmm. Okay. Well, clearly, I'm gonna rota for Dark Refer. That's a given. Hmm, I can go discard special, normal, send, foolish, send another thing. I, I can get serious as hell. I can see the king of fur lamps. Nah, I'm gonna take it slow. I'm gonna take it slow. There's no point in me freaking trying to overextend like that. Uh, who do I want to send? There's so much to send. I can send plague. I can I'll send plague. I can send plague. I have to do it slow. I'm not really in a hurry right now. So what are you using today, sir? Let's try the monster. That's it? When fucking Yu-Gi-Oh was back row dot deck, you just want to set one monster. That is just sh shocking. 
I thought you were. I thought you were gonna go fucking ham. I thought you were just gonna go set, 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 You about to set like twenty fucking cards in the back row? You could set twenty fucking cards in the back row. You would have, huh? Should also gravekeepers. Okay. Gravekeepers setting nothing. Okay. That that's that's weird. I mean gravekeepers. Why am I saying gravekeepers in front of these? That's another deck that I hate, Gravekeepers, but Infernity I hate not as much. My hate for them has gone down since they got hit. At least they finally got hit, so I can, I can make my peace with that deck. I'm going to go ahead and Foolish and send Phantom of Chaos. That definitely needs to be sent. Set this. Set this. Pass to you. So no back row right now with Infernities. So that is that is shocking. You're telling me you opened up all monsters and you just didn't want to set anything first turn. On. Mm hmm. Oh, the synchro version. Send our train, set those three cards, because those are actually like perfectly back row. Yep. And summon that our train back. One, two, and three. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. It's the same thing with this deck. This deck gets boring. Yep. Same plays by the same deck, it's the same thing, it's the same shit. Over and over and over and over and over. <sighs> Sync 9. Interesting. Missed one? Missed one, okay. You're gonna use your effect and select. Okay. It's up to nine, right? Yep. So up to three. Yep, it's up to three. So he just wants to select that one. He doesn't want to select my back row. Sure, I'll take twenty five. You can have that to anyone I'm at up. Limit reverse. Drop. Turn to defense. Fat. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Terror. Like, why? That was an attack. I, mean, I literally thought he was gonna go Necromancer, summon him back, you know, do all that, fucking get your barrier, but no. Like, that, that makes my shit, that makes my day much easier. Much, 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 mucho, mucho easier. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go Plague Effect. Put you on top of the deck, I'm in plague. I'm gonna go Mally of Torrental. Sure, that's fucking easier on me. Oh, that's banished. Sure, I'll go ahead and get fucking Ultimate Nightmare. I don't mind that. Totally don't mind that. I don't mind having Ultimate Nightmare. Ah, uh, go ahead. I'm chill. Oh, of course you have it. These fucking number generators. Send it. Send it. Send this. Send it. If you're gonna play launcher, play it right. Thank you. It's fine. Like I said, of course he had it. All the limited cards. Launcher. Fucking... Parental. What about me? What about on my end? What about on my end? Foolish. Phantom of Chaos. Huh? Yeah. It's a fucking number generator. He didn't have to search for the launcher. He just happened to get it. So. Yeah. Fender. Okay. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Scrap Dragon? Oh. Okay. Sure. Yep. Some of the two beetles. Uh huh. That's fine. I think 12. Who the fuck bust out of 12 like that? Two tuners and. Uh, huh. This card gains 500 attack for each tuning monster in your grave. So that'd be one, two, three, four. So, um, it's 5,500. This card cannot be destroyed by the effects of your opponent's spell traps or monster effects on your opponent's card attack. You can, s when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can select it, then remove the card. Select, you can select it, then remove this card from play and negate the attack during the end phase. This card's supposed to summon. Okay. Mm hmm. Sure. Uh, well, I'm guess I'm gonna have to use Mass Chameleon. So pretty much, this is the last our last play. Because if he has something to stop this, then it's over. Back. This is it. This will pretty much be the finale. If he stops me for right now, then it's over because he'll just attack me for 5,500. So, I do love how he had the launcher though. He didn't even had to search for it. He was just like, oh yeah, I got it. One out of 40. Got it. So you can't, this card cannot be destroyed. Doesn't say I can't target it. So, that's where the downfall of that card is. May I have him, please? May I have the deliciousness? I wonder what this face down is. You know what's so ha- You know what's reassuring? That he can't top deck an archery, but he can still top deck a fucking necromancer. Yes. Be like, drop Necromancer, Necromancer. I'm like, uh, you're right. Nope, more back row. That's reassuring as hell. So I guess I'll just poke the shit out of him for an Intel game. Sounds about right. You know, so if he wants to use some of his back row on this 101, go ahead and break. I mean, you can go ahead and break me, but I'll only have, I'll just detach the material, so I'll still live. Top deck Rota, Rota, get Armageddon. I, I don't know. I guess Armageddon Knight. I don't know. Armageddon Knight send Stygian? I'm trying to think what you can do at this point. Yeah, not Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight send Stygian. I'm guessing. Stygian. Stygian? Unless, unless I'm missing something. I said this is a synchro variant, so unless I'm missing something. Yeah. So unless I'm missing something. Should be Stygian. No, this guy. Never heard of him. Oh wow, that's cute. Wow, so he top decked right into the arm the road to Armageddon Knight into, into general. You're not gonna do it? If you have no cards in your hand, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target two level three or lower infinity monsters in your graveyard by some target with their effects in the game. Can't you just 
do him summon the two beetles or whatever and then sink? Eh, I guess not. I, I guess not. Uh, uh, whatever. I don't care. I wouldn't just, I'm trying to stay in this though. Hold on, did I don't mind getting that? Okay, so it becomes level four. That's fine, I guess. Go ahead. Fucking Destiny Draw ain't gonna help do shit. Guessing it's fine. Go ahead and drop another plague spreader, and then I'll go ahead and do the play right now because I feel like I can end this duel depending on what his back row is. So I really don't feel like tossing a random MST at him. Can't activate break. He can't activate barrier. What can he activate? I don't know. Plague effect on top of the deck. Something new. Now uh, effect. Oh my god, I just thought of something. I know exactly how I'm going to beat this guy. I know exactly what monster to summon to beat this guy. Yes! <laughs> Your monster! <laughs> MST that one, and then if you try to activate that one, oh, okay, yeah, that's game, that's game, that is game, attack, whatever it is, Void Ogre will negate, so that's game, that is game, I'll show you, I'll use your monster, nice and powerful, Void Ogre beat you, I beat you with your own monster, nice and meaty. All right, that was that was interesting. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Vitamin Y. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow using Ubelic Seas. Thanks for watching.